just trying to avoid the Jennifer Lawrence moment, so I'm here. My name is Yasmin Kafai. I'm uh, from the University of Pennsylvania, and oh, you gave up 15 seconds. Uh, so um, I'm actually a faculty in a graduate school of education, and I also have an appointment in the Department of Computer Science. And uh, it's a very interesting experience uh, when you look at the faces there. The faces in education are definitely different from the ones in computing. And so my talk today is about changing the face of computing so one stitch at a time, because there is an old saying which goes, uh, one stitch at a time may save you nine in the future. And in the area of uh, digital literacy and computing education, we really haven't done our stitches to kind of save the nine in time, uh, because more than uh, even the girls are one half of the AP takers, only 18% are actually taking the AP computer science exam. And if this isn't bad, uh, the recent data actually shows that there are some states here in US where no student actually has taken the exam. And you may think the AP exam is really not that important, but I mean, it shows us something very problematic that we need to do. And so there are several efforts underway. I mean, the code of org had over 27 million people actually give a taste of programming. There's Scratch, there's different initiatives like Black Girls and Code. But what I want to talk today about is something which has escaped our attention. And those are the competitions which name like Top Coder, Code War, Sprint Code. Uh, and even K-12 has now its own competition with the National STEM Video Game Challenge. And it looks like these competitions are open to all, but really are there. If you look at robotics competitions, local and national teams across the nation compete, but actually very few girls are there. So competitions are really, while everybody can join, the women are not coming. Another example of a competition are hackathons where uh, you go not spend a month, but 48 hours on making something. Uh, uh, you don't sleep, you don't shower, you see no sunshine. And Penn actually runs the nation's largest hackathon with 1,200 coders twice a year. But the people who are not coming are the women. So when we looked at the data, only 15% of the participants are girls. So we thought, how can we change this? So we decided to create a special event in pen apps called Stitch Fest, built on quilting circles and not competitions, and having people kind of design software variables rather than just applications. And we decided to make it around the theme of wear and care using electronic textiles which allow you to put the computation right into your jackets, the things you wear. And then we also wanted to have people kind of share things. So in the hack boxes with all the electronics which participants got, we gave them some parts, but others we distributed and asked them to trade and share. So just three weeks ago, it's not that long, we actually had the first Stitch Fest, and over 44 students came right on Valentine's Day to share their love of programming. Uh, and they all engineered code and stitched and produce something. So let's look at a few examples what people actually made. This is a kind of application around the popular uh, Flappy Bird things. And so uh, you now use your arms with your variables to kind of guide the birds through all the obstacles. Uh, and then there is Hashstream, which is a digital badge which allows you to enter a hashtag and then stream all the Twitter content. And so rather than to have a pin which doesn't change its message, your slogan essentially can become an ongoing conversation. And then we also had guys, believe it or not, who came and were willing to sue and made a messenger back which turns your daily commute essentially into a profit because people can sign up for you to kind of take things deliver them, and then you can kind of get paid for it. Many other things were made. Baby clothes, which measure temperature, music sleeves, and they all look different than the big winner of Pen Apps, which was a homework machine that solved your math problems in handwriting. So, but the more important message is that we were able to double the number of women just with this very simple intervention of kind of shifting the focus of what was being designed during the hackathon. And I think that's a really important message because computing and fashion actually belong together 
Over 100 years ago, Ada Lovelace already wrote the first program for jacket looms, and she probably wrote also the most beautiful sentence to ever link computing and fashion. We mo may most aptly say that the jacket loom, that the analytical engine weaves algebraic pattern like the jacket loom leaves uh, and flowers. So I suggest, I mean, game design and robotics and all of this is great, but we also need to think about creating new communities which send messages, textiles and all kinds that, I mean, things can change and the faces of computing can change one stitch at a time.